Welcome to Maths with Bob. This is the three-minute series on statistics, uh, hypothesis testing, normal distributions. And today we're looking at a uh, two-sided test, but we're looking at it slightly, something slightly different. It's the inference of, is on the mean difference here. And um, the, the two means are assumed, obviously, to be coming from normal distributions. And we can use the additive property of uh, independent random variables. And we get a, a new statistic here. This is the... Uh, Z statistic for uh, mean differences. Okay, um, let's, make, let's make it a bit bigger. Okay, you can see here it's the sample means difference minus the population's means difference all over the variances. Now, the variances obviously are from the first population and the population sample size here, one, and the second uh, variance here from uh, obviously it's sample two over the sample two's uh, size, sample size. Okay. And you can have a quick look here. Sample sizes are 160 and 200 at the mean lifetimes. Uh, you can see here, and the variances are here. So this, the manufacturer is claiming that his battery actually lasts longer than a, a rival's battery B. Uh, and we have to test this at a 5% significance level. OK, so what do we do? Well, first of all, we obviously got to put the numbers into here. And uh, let's have a quick look. OK, here we go. First of all, I guess also, we do need to set up the null hypothesis. now. With two means, what happens is we just say that, okay, well, let's just assume that the difference in the means of the populations is in fact zero. And the alternative hypothesis in this case is a two-sided test. If it was one-sided, we could just say one was bigger than the other or one was less than the other. Uh, so we obviously need to use this statistic. And if you can see here, it was a bit more complicated. And we need to put the values in. And when you put the values in, you can see here, uh, we end up getting a uh, 1.199. Now, uh, this is actually within, where is that roughly here? We'll have a look in a minute, roughly in here somewhere. Okay, so we're going to obviously accept the null hypothesis at the 5% level of significance. Okay, so let's actually just have a look what this all means. Okay, well, okay, our Z statistic, uh, you can see here is, uh, let's have a look, here it is here. Let's have a look, there it goes. Now, obviously, it's in this uh, blue region here, okay, so it's uh, attributable to chance, okay, over here, it'd be, if it's outside here, would ex obviously reject the null hypothesis, uh, but since it's inside here, we are going to accept the null hypothesis, okay, it's too small to reject, so we are accepting the null hypothesis, in that there's no difference, actually, in the uh, mean battery lives of the samples, so basically, the claim the manufacturer cannot claim from these sample uh, sizes and values that his battery will last longer than a particular another battery, battery B. Okay, so obviously also uh, if we are accepting at 5%, uh, we'll accept at a 1% as well. Okay, and we need here these values. Values I can see here are coming from the normal distribution, 1.960 here, and obviously at uh, a 1%, you've got up and down, you know, two and a half percent. Well half a percent up and half a percent down for this z value and obviously at five percent we got two and a half percent up and two and a half percent down well thank you very much for watching and bye for now